hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me Corey and for today's video it's all about pens my top recommendation for Hobonichi planners journals paper tomorrow river paper pens that are not fountain pens so this video is for my friends here my viewers who are into planning journaling and stationaries but hated the thought of having to use a fountain pen because to me honestly in the first few years of my journey i never used fountain pens i just come to know it on the latter part so i ha i used to have tried a lot of different pens gel pens roller balls um what do you call it needle tip gel pens and stuff so now that it's the planner season journaling season launch for 2024 and let's say you all have your hobonichi lineups and you have not found your pen piece so i hope this video will help you decide what to use for your new planners i have here a bunch of hobonichi books that i've used like these are 2023 um uh, sorry weeks and my five year tech show and my a6 which is the original and the tech show the english and i think yeah this is the japanese so and also a cousin this is an old cousin because mine now is cut down so we're gonna try it on different hobonichi um, books i know it's just a the same tomorrow river paper but starting next year i believe it's gonna be with the tomorrow river paper s the newer um type of paper which is more thicker than the usual hobonichi that we were used to to have to write on so i have here with me pen case that i prepared for you guys these are just the variation but these are the top 10 main pens that i suggest i think this is one this is supposed to be here <laughs> that i suggest you um you can use with your hobonichi uh notebooks so let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah ten types or kinds of pens that is um, very hobonichi paper safe so uh, I'll do my best to quickly um, have a pen test with this for those of you who are not familiar on some of the pens but for those of you who are already using these types of um, pens good and thank you for just hanging out here in my channel so let's begin um, I know these are the different Hobonichi books that you might have but they are all are of having the same um, paper type which is the Tomorrow River paper so I believe that they have changed it and uh, five year obviously will stay the same <laughs> but yeah so let us just try it on onto my wigs um if you also noticed wigs uh paper the grid um compared to the a6 let's find a knot okay and the cousin so i'm hoping that i will find a <laughs> blank okay here i see this is black so the Wix is the most cream yellowish one and the Cousin is and the A6 are more close to each other but I believe if my eyes are correct the Cousin is more whiter than the the A6 so let's just uh, use it on to our wigs I believe so many people plan on their wigs more than the the A6, um, I just don't know the ratio, but yeah, anyway, it's just the same for 
most. It's just the Hobonichi, the Tomo River paper. Okay, so these top 10 now I have here with me are my go-tos whenever I, before I use fountain pens and also even right now, like I just grab them. It's on my desk next to my fountain pens uh, case. So these are just um, the safest whenever my fountain pen ran off ink or I have to go somewhere and you know, I don't need to take care. Like I can have them dumped in my purse. Okay, so let's begin with the first one that I have, which is the Kaweko um, ballpoint pen. But now I have already replace this um the what do you call this the one inside it, the refill with the pilot um the, the small the tiny one needle tip so obviously the kaweko original one is the fat ballpoint one but i am not a fan of the ballpoint and also it's a bit more pricey than the one that I'm using now and it's more easier to acquire I bought this pilot high-tech C slims um, I will just tag it in my affiliate links guys if you want to get this as well so um, I love this the only con with this pen is it's fast to finish the ink but it's, it's, it's such a pretty pen for a ballpoint one so the reason I have this top 10 here is that they are mostly drying fast when written in a hobonichi when used in a hobonichi paper so that's why these are my top suggestions for you guys and if i cannot zoom so close later i'll just show you this is our first uh, pen which is the kaweko the body is kaweko sport burgundy and the refill is the Pilot High Tech C, um, the smaller one. So, as you can see, it's just drying so fast and ghosting is just minimal. Okay, no bleeding at all. So, that's one. And because it's so tiny and teeny tiny, the tip. If you write to intend to fit on the grid, it's very possible in this ballpoint pen. Okay, so that's one. And the second on this uh, category pocket ballpoint, I have this Midori um, ballpoint again. There is a fountain pen version for this. And this is the Traveler's, Com sorry, not Midori, <laughs> Traveler's Company pen. And yeah, I also use the same refill for this. That's why I have a box. <laughs> so this is the Travelers. So that's one. Uh, okay, I put um, a different color in this Pilot height. Uh, I think I also can call it to the refill for this. I'll just get it for you guys. So this is the Travelers. So you are not limited to black Traveler's Company, sorry. You are not limited to a black ballpoint only. Um, ballpoint pen. Okay. And I believe this is the refill. So it can fit and if you're a fan of different colors, yeah, this is the one. High taxi. I think this is much more easier to acquire. And I just trim it off to fit. So that's the second one that I can highly recommend, especially if you're a fan of pocket and tin pens. So that's the Traverse Company. And third on our pocket pens, ballpoint, that you can use for hobonichi is the uni um this is the new one right this is in trend pitch milk and i have the mandarin orange uni ball one the tiny teeny one this is the point the three eight size 
Uniball 1. The Uniball 1 edition. And then point three eight nib <laughs> nib uh, the the size of the pen there's also a 0.5 but i love using the 0 0.308 for my hobonichi so this is literally like the darkest one for now this is the gel pen and minimal ghosting as well so this really are the pens if you hate ghosting and let's do this last on to our gel pen i have here the energy Quena. i have a lot these are all finished i have to refill them so these are the coffee monsters co inspiration like helen likes to use this so i have a variation of 0 0.308 0 0.4 0 0.5 yeah they use 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 so let's just try one um, energy Quena. Are you still seeing, guys? Quena 0.4. And yeah, again, it's a needle tip pen, so it's easy to fit on these tiny grids of Hobonichi. It's not as black as the Uniball one but yes no ghosting as well so another safe another safe um pen to use for hobonichi so that's the let's just put it there that's the fourth on our top 10 list now we'll go to sarasa <laughs> sarasa this is the vintage the gold one the edition vintage edition zero sarasa but i changed the refill with this pen the sarasa dry 0.5 rapid dry ink i hated the body it's so plasticky and bulky and you know like this i'm just using it to my this is a metallic pen so it has a weight on it when i write it i feel more you know much more good um feeling when i write yeah i don't like the plastic feels to be honest so this is the fifth pen it's really really dark sarasa uh, zebra sorry zebra sarasa vintage body with a sarasa dry refill 0.5 it's really dark it's really really um you know bolder than the rest even though it's 0.5 and let's to do a i think it's five second or only five second test very dry so quickly that's why i really really love this this is the body and this is the pen when you want to refill sarasa dry okay so that's our fifth pen sixth is these babies which are the vintage edition sarasa clip pen so i love all the colors so when you're bored with all the black colors <laughs> ball points and gel pens um you can have this sarasa um gel pens in different colors i love the colors of it i have all the colors for the vintage edition uh, vintage collection and yeah so this is as well a 0.5 now to be fair let's just test the darker one so we can see the ghosting part so i think it's much more closer if i write like this sixth is the zebra sarasa clip brown and 0.5 okay it, it has a lot of different colors so as you can see it also dries so fast the, the pens that i chose here by the way are all drying very fast that's what you need for hobonichi papers 
if you don't know yet because the all this plot will will happen so again minimal ghosting okay so far so good with our top 10 we are on to our sixth pen which is again another uniball 1.38 i think this is the latest design clip this is from last two years i guess and yeah so let's just try it on this is again a needle tip pen and okay so seventh is the uniball um yeah the big one okay this is the mini version so this is the regular version i have it only in white i think if i'm not mistaken this is a gift <laughs> from my husband so uniball 1.38 so he knows this little tiny small effort of pens and stationaries will make me happy <laughs> so yeah i think very very minimal ghosting okay drying obviously it's not even drying that fast it's the normal um ballpoint pen i don't think it's even considered a gel pen i don't know this uniball one they are both the same uniball one but this one is a more um the black is not that really black as the uniball one mini okay i have to write it regular here okay that's our seventh pen for our eighth pen this is just not this is uh, not a gel pen this is just a ballpoint pen you need just stream this is the first pen i used and let's hope it's still writing okay eight oh good anyway these are all refillable guys so it's it's your call if you want to refill it with the same brand unibol jet uni jet stream um four in one it has a blue it's all working guys even though it's already like three years or so blue green and red my my it's still working that's why i love japanese brands and a pencil mechanical pencil i think this is 0.5 and the rest yeah everything is 0.5 here this is i got this because this is my favorite first is in pink in rose gold and it's the mini disney edition so i love this pen back then i still do um just to back up here so that's our eighth pen and ghosty almost none okay <laughs> almost nothing so if you are a fan of ballpoint only and not gel pen this is a good pen our ninth in our lineup for top 10 recommendation is the micron um this is called the uh, sketching pen but most people use it for uh, just writing as well this is a waterproof um, archival ink this is the old design and this is the new design so let's just try the old one traditional I've also had this for like five years now this is the zero two I have the entire um, set for this until point five zero one so nine is the pigma micron mostly these are used to line and the thicker ones are used to for headers so pigma micron zero two okay and yeah or it's the three mm uh, size let us see the drying time and the ghosting so first the ghosting again just like the normal gel pens and the ball points barely nothing and since it's a point two it's also drying so fast okay the construction noise has started i have to do this fast <laughs> last on our pen 
top 10 this is actually a brush pen but i'm including this in the lineup first because it's always a must i think to have this if you're a hobonichi use hobonichi user and this is the tombo for the nusuke um brush pen this is the blue one and the green one i believe is the thicker one and this is the thinner one so this is the tombo um brush pen what is this called fude nasuke blue one so these are for you know when you do the lettering the heading on your on your um when you do planning so it's always there so i included that even though it's a brush pen and let's see obviously the ghosting is there zero bleeding at all even though it's a brush pen zero bleeding so all my recommendation guys are just minimal ghosting except for this sarasa dry but i love to use this and i use this mostly on my um normal notes in my just regular notebooks so i don't use it all the time on my hobonichi so this is the thickest so far this is what i can recommend for all of you there who are all hobonichi lovers and hates fountain pens not hate but to me to be honest i used to hate fountain pen but um thinking of you know uh throwing or buying refills instead i have ink bottles i can refill them anytime so yeah maybe someday you will appreciate fountain pen but for now if you really don't or not into it then these are the pens that is good for your hobonichi just in case you're new to the community or you're new to that paper you really have to choose wisely your pen because you will only get frustrated if you see it bleeding blotting everywhere drying time is forever like this is the tombow because obviously we use our planners to you know jot down fast and quick yeah you can beautify it i don't know how you guys all do it nicely but me in a day-to-day -day normal uh, routine it's just full writing right on so these pens are very reliable and easy access for refills as well especially this it's very popular the brush pen so okay and i hope you will subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more um if not informative just fun videos <laughs> i'm no expert here and i'm just new as well in youtube and i'm really thankful for people who subscribe to my channel and like my videos um god bless you all and i'll see you on my next one bye